Hi everybody, uh, Darren here from Web Ninja. Just thought I'd show you our uh, new MIB Advanced integration, how that all works, um, how the two talk to each other, and how the, the setup takes place as well. So, the screen we're looking at here is obviously just the sign into MIB Advanced. I'm just going to go ahead and do that so you get a bit of feel for uh, the touch points that we've got uh, with our integration. So, I'm just going to log in here and just jump on the uh, distribution tab. And then straight into the inventory tab. And then I'm just going to jump onto a stock item and then pull up a stock item here. Just use the tower case here. So basically, the way the connection works is uh, we've got the ability to, to set up using the API, the MYB API, um, different touch points or different mapping to different fields in, in MYB Advanced. Typically, we use um, a couple of uh, attribute fields uh, to give us some extra uh, capabilities around the integration. Usually they are something like um, a show on web field. So what that means is if you tick the value here, the tick this little box on each of the products that you want to sync to the web, they'll automatically sync up to the Web Ninja site. So nice and easy to take stuff off the web or obviously to list on the web as well. What we also synchronize through are the sales categories. So we can use the default categories here in, um, in advance, but we can also then have separate sales categories. So sometimes people use categories internally for different reasons, for stock taking purposes or location, you know, within your warehouse, et cetera, uh, or something that means something to you guys internally. Um, and oftentimes externally, that doesn't mean anything to customers. So, so, so with advance, you've got the ability to have what they call sales categories. So you set those up in here and then we can map to those, which, which means that you can actually create your full category tree on your website uh, or in your online ordering platform from Web Ninja using the sales categories that you set within the products here. We pull through the images from, um, from advanced as well. Uh, if you've got multiple images, we can grab them from a different location, say somewhere on your network or even a Google Drive. Uh, but we can pull the images obviously here from advanced if they're already there or you, you want to keep them there in the first place. And then we've got all your standard stuff that we bring through. So obviously your, your, uh, your different descriptions, um, your stock on hand, your pricing. We, pull, we support all the full pricing in, uh, in MYB Advanced as well. Um, so when a customer logs on and they're aligned to a price in advance, that's going to show them that price on the web as well. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of an idea of how things work from the advanced side of things. I'll just sort of show you just the back end configuration so you get a bit more of a feel for you know, those touch points, et cetera, and how the setup takes place and what um, we can do from a mapping point of view. So the screen you're looking at here is our admin slash content management system. Depending on which solution you're using from, from Web Ninja, if you're using our online order portal, then you've got a cut down version of this. Um, if you're using our web store, then you've got a, a version of this that has the content management system built in. So under our sync settings here, uh, how we connect to, uh, to advanced, like I said, is we use the MYB uh, API. Um, and what that means is there's no software to inst be installed. Obviously, they're both cloud solutions, both Web Ninja and Advanced. Um, and even locally, you can run Advanced. You're still using the API, which we connect to. So no fuss, pretty easy and very robust connection. From a product's point of view, if I just to go to the sync settings here, what you'll see is um, we've got that mapping tool here that allows us to define what particular product appears on the web. Now, I've got here set for, for, for all products. But as you can see here, I've got access to all of the fields at the stock item level within advanced to indicate what field I want to map to, to for the system to know what products that we want to appear on the web. Okay, so that's nice and easy, uh, as you can see here. Our project guys will just um, touch base with you and give you an idea of how that works and obviously then how we set those settings up. Um, so if we were looking at, say, show on web or, or one of those particular fields that we'd already created, then we'd have something like a Y in here, which would then indicate that we're only looking for products with a Y on that field to then bring those through the web. A few other various settings there, depending on what type of configuration you're using and what type of product you're using around category images and pricing and price levels and so forth. But our, our guys work through that with you um, as part of the settings process. We have the ability, obviously, to sync customers as well, because as I mentioned earlier, you can see a uh, customer can see their pricing based on their advanced price rules when they log in. So what that means is under the sync settings here, again, we can define what customers from an advanced point of view should be linked to the website. So we can do all customers or again, using a field. Like I said, we can create an attribute field there 
um, for you to put a Y in or a tick box. And then that, if we're mapping to that, we'll bring those customers through to, to the site. When it brings the customers through, um, not only pricing comes through, but things like um, their, their back orders, uh, their ability to see previous invoices, they're all available based on that synchronization process, just on the flag that you set here within the customer sync settings. And then on the order side of things, you'll see here from a sync settings point of view, um, how we're connecting to the site, like I mentioned earlier, but also then the ability, what we've got here is to customize some of the fields that we write back when we send an order back to, to advanced. So oftentimes you might need some extra information that you're, you've got up on the site, um, delivery date or something like that as part of the checkout process that needs to go back into advance so your team know what to do from a from a logistics point of view or a picking, packing, shipping point of view, then we've got the ability to change the values um, where we send to by default to something custom. In other words, another field um, that you might have set up in advanced as well. So a few different options there around the data mapping process. Nice and easy. And like I said, our guys will help you through that um, as part of that process there. Okay, let's flip over and just have a look at the, um, the site itself. And what I'll show you is just the order process and how that takes place. So we're just looking at a demo um, online ordering, um, B2B online ordering solution that, that the Web Ninjas uh, put out. It's an out of the box type solution. So what we typically do is rinse your colors and logo through the site. Um, so it feels like your brand. It's typically added to an existing site. So it's like I said, login only B2B sort of scenario. Um, be, and people click on that and then get this fixed menu, fixed out uh, look at uh, look and feel, but also then the colors and, and logo rinse through to, to make it a little bit different and suit your brand. So we can land people in a, a, a particular page if we need to. In this instance, I'm, I'm landing a more what we call my category listing page, uh, but we can land people into what we call our My Account area. And in that My Account area, there's a few different shortcuts through to um, easy repetitive order type scenarios as well. At the top, you'll see some basic menu items here as well. Um, I won't run you through all of those. We've got a separate video on the site to show you how the online ordering works. Um, but what I did want to show you is the ordering process and how that appears um, within Advanced. So if I just go into here, I'm just going to go and choose a product. As you can see here on the left-hand side, I'm bringing through those sales categories that I mentioned before within Advanced. Um, within those categories, then I've got the products that are associated to those categories. You can see here I've got my desktop build. I'm just going to order two of those. Um, and simply just add that to cart. So nice, easy process, just giving the confirmation there. I'm just gonna to go to my checkout now, to my shopping cart. I'm just gonna quickly check out simply here. I've just got some configuration turned on that allow me to get through pretty quickly, which is just checking out, charging to an account. What I'm gonna do is though, is I'm gonna pop in a order number of 116. And then what you'll be able to see is that comes through into advanced. So if I confirm order on that, and then go back into advanced, what you'll see here um, under my sales order screen. If I get it quick enough, what you'll see is I won't have an, a, a sales order there for this particular order. So if I get there quick enough, now beat me to it. So 116 is already there. If I click on the one I want, you'll see that that product is, uh, is sitting here. That's the product I just ordered. So that's how quick it is. It's, um, it's a couple of seconds based on when customer hits confirm order on the site and then it pops into advanced. Um, so I hope that explains how our how two-way sync with advanced works. It uses the advanced API, like I mentioned, so it's nice and safe and supported by MYB in terms of the fields that we can touch um, and we can read from. And then uh, on the flip side of that, orders on your online ordering portal or your web store come back automatically into advance for you as a sales order and you can do, do the rest from there. Great, thanks for watching the video.